Hundreds of bills passed through both chambers in Springfield during the last week of session. But one of the plans that might have been overlooked will address some of the issues law enforcement had with the criminal justice law signed in February. WGEM's Capitol Bureau Chief Mike Militich is live in Springfield tonight with the latest on this bill. Mike. Dylan McKenzie, good evening. While lawmakers weren't able to change most portions of the law that's in place, this trailer bill does look into several key areas that law enforcement said would be inoperable if they tried to implement them. Sponsors knew earlier this year that they would have to go back to the drawing board after Governor Pritzker signed the Safety Act into law. Senator L.G. Sims and Representative Justin Slaughter wanted to work directly with law enforcement and those in the criminal justice field. Ladies and gentlemen, this bill has no opposition on it. A bill that reflects a lot of hard work to get these entities to either neutral or support. House Bill 3443 only addresses portions of the Safety Act that go into effect on July 1st of this year. The language covers restrictions on use of force, chokeholds, crowd control, and law enforcement misconduct. It also touches upon issues with training requirements and body-worn camera implementation for every officer in Illinois by 2025. To me, this is making a, a bad law uh, more implementable, but it doesn't change the basic undertones of the tenets from which the original law was established, which are still problematic for us. Jim Kaichuk with the Illinois Sheriff's Association says he's glad lawmakers were willing to work on this measure and several other trailer bills down the road. Still, he feels Democrats should have been proactive during negotiations on the initial law instead of reacting to challenges they face now. Some Democrats say this bill actually diminished the monumental law from the Legislative Black Caucus. I don't have enough time to ask the many questions that are respected to this bill, but it's clear you're not, you don't know what's in it anyway. It's a watered-down bill. It's disrespectful to the pillar in the first place. Now, Kaichak brought up to me today that this change to the law won't lead to good officers staying around much longer. He says that the constant attacks on police are the reason that good officers leave the department or their profession altogether, and it's also hard to recruit good officers. For now, reporting live in Springfield, Mike Multich, WGEM News.